Good morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Philip Mena with the top stories on this Wednesday, October 22nd. Hillary Clinton takes a break from the campaign trail today to go before the Benghazi Committee on Capitol Hill. For at least eight hours, she will face tough questions from seven Republicans and five Democrats about the biggest crisis she faced as Secretary of State. Four Americans, including the U.S. Ambassador, died in the Benghazi attack. Republicans say they're pressing for new information. Clinton supporters say the GOP is playing politics. Breaking news in that deadly road rage shooting that left a four-year-old girl dead. Police have arrested Tony Torres and charged him with murder. They say he confessed to the shooting. Lily Garcia was riding the back of her dad's truck when he was forced out of his lane by another driver. The two exchanged words. Then police say Torres fired into Garcia's truck, hitting the little girl. A stunning new study out about the use of marijuana in our country. Nearly 10% of U.S. adults, that's more than 22 million people, say they use cannabis. Those numbers represent a doubling in the number of users in the last decade. Researchers say the trend reflects an increasingly permissive view about the drug, which is legal for medical purposes in 23 states. Recreational pot use is legal in four states. And thanks to their win over the Cubs last night, the Mets heading to the World Series for the first time in 15 years. New York's Daniel Murphy made history, hitting a home run for the sixth straight postseason game. The Mets face either Kansas City Royals or the Toronto Blue Jays in the World Series. Let's go Mets. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Philip Mena. And I'm Rena Ninet. I need to find some tickets. Thanks for watching.